Hello, Spark fans, and welcome back to Advancing Spark, where today I have nothing technical to talk about. Instead, I want to take a moment to talk about a thing that was launched yesterday. So Databricks have introduced the Beacons initiative. Now, a Databricks Beacon is a community evangelist who is pushing forward the Spark, Databricks, data and AI community in some way. Now, it's largely a group of incredibly smart people who are contributing to the Spark project itself or maintaining some of the incredibly amazing uh, ecosystem of packages that sit around it. There are also several youtube -y people who just talk about things a lot. So I want to talk a little bit about that and what it means. Uh, and I also want to do a bit of a plug. So Advancing Analytics, uh, we do Databricks training, right? We kind of run courses for clients normally. Private, we'll do remote training, we'll do in-person training, all that kind of good stuff. Obviously, we've not done in-person training for quite some time. Now, with things starting to open back up, over in September, there is a conference called Big Data London. And we are going to be sponsoring, we'll be there, we'll be talking about various different things. And as a way to get people back into the spirit of in-person conferences, we're doing a two-day training course just before that conference kicks off. So Monday, Tuesday, the 20th and 21st of September, 2021, we'll be doing an in-person applied Databricks course for two days. And that's covering all of what is Spark? How does Spark work? How do we write, read data, write data, use it in context, all of that good stuff. And how does it sit in context with wider Azure? So how does it talk to a data lake properly? How can we do security? How do we get it to orchestrate via things like Data Factory? Uh, and all of that kind of good stuff. So it'll be two days of lots and lots of hands-on, theoretical, big mix of different stuff. Uh, and we're quite excited because it's the first in-person training we've done in quite some time. Now, as a bit of a gift for you guys who are watching via YouTube and supporting this stuff, I've arranged a bit of a promo code. So we've got Beacon10. If you go on the website, I'll show you a link in a second. I'll put a card up there so you can click on it. If you do attend that training in person, pop in that Beacon10 as a discount code and that'll get you 10% off. Now that is live for the next two weeks, which I think is until the end of August or something like that. Um, so you do need to book now and you can use that code Beacon10. We get 10% off that training course. And again, just come and talk to us and learn some stuff. So again, I'll throw you the link to the website. You can go on, you can see the agenda, you can see the kind of things that we're talking about. You can see various different things on there. Loads and loads of detail about what we do and how we run training. If you're interested, come along on those two days. Now, we've had lots of questions already saying, can we do it remote? And we're going to. So we previously only offered uh, remote training for clients. And so we do private clients and do all that stuff. But we're going to open some public courses soon. So expect in the next month or so, we'll announce two things. One, a two day fundamentals course and one, a full day masterclass on Delta. So digging into all of the advanced functions, how they work together, how you performance tune, how you get into the dirty depths of the transaction log. So those two courses are coming up. And again, we kind of need a bit of feedback from you guys. If you guys are super interested and you go, yes, I am interested, please, can you do some training? Let us know, please, so we know how many we should run, how often we should run them, what kind of time zone we should do them in. We, if we don't hear from you, we probably won't do it. So let us know if you would be interested in us doing some training and we'll get that lined up. Okay, so Beacon Things. We now have this Meet the Databricks Beacons program. Again, very freshly announced. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm a Microsoft MVP. That's a most valuable professional, I believe. Um, and I work on the data platform space. So that means I spend a lot of time in Microsoft talking to the product group, learning about the, the upcoming roadmap, giving feedback from clients based on how they work and what they, how they're experienced using products, all of that good stuff. And the intention for Beacons is to be very, very similar. So it's a way to work a little bit closer with the product team to feedback what we're hearing from the community and to kind of reward people who've been doing a lot for the community going forwards. So now I do have a massive amount of imposter syndrome being in this crazy cast of people who are contributing so much and maintaining some incredible packages. Uh, and I'm just chatting away on YouTube about various different things that other people have written. It's kind of how it works, but we need to use this stuff, right? So. Really, really cool to see this announced. We've been kind of in the pipeline for a little while. So you can go to this Beacon site. You can see the first class of all the beacons that have been announced so far. And again, this is kind of a whole range of people who can help in different areas. Everyone has different specialisms. And if you dig down in somebody, you can so we can go and see, hello, that's me. See a bit about us and see how people can actually help you out. So if you're looking for someone to help you out with 
consultancy or a meetup, or you're looking for someone to come and speak at your user group, or you're looking for someone to collaborate on an open source project, you can go and have a look through the beacons. And that is a good first port of call as people who are kind of experts in the field and also very tuned and plugged in to the community. So absolutely check out that list of stellar people who are kicking off uh, the world of beacons. But then also it's meant to be a growing community. So we can see a little bit about what you get from being a beacon, but also we can nominate new beacons. So whilst yes, this is the founding few people who are the beacons across the world, there's going to be a load more and it's going to be a growing community of people who are going out there and whether that's running user groups, whether it's writing documentation, whether it's introducing and writing your own packages, whether it is maintaining existing packages, there are so many different ways people can contribute to the community. And, you know, it's essentially, there's so many of us that we got our careers, our entire kind of network of professional contacts, our loads and loads of friends we've made across the way, and loads of career opportunities are all through having that community of people helping each other out, teaching each other things that we've learned, helping introduce people to other people that can help them on their way. And community is so important in the tech space. So if you're not involved in the community, there is a good pile of people who are good to start talking to, to get in contact with. And yeah, hopefully we can start building it and making it a bigger and bigger and bigger and better thing. And that's it. That is all I had to talk about today. So congratulations to all of the other Databricks Beacons. I'm incredibly excited to be a Databricks Beacon and a Microsoft MVP. It's a weird combination of two things I spend a lot of my time working with and talking about. And again, if you are interested in getting started with Databricks and you happen to be in London, then 20th and 21st, we've got that in-person Databricks Fundamentals Applied Training Course with the discount code I popped up earlier, that Beacon 10, to get you 10% off. All right, so that is me for today. I'll be back next week with more actual tech stuff, diving deeper into Dell's live tables, I'm sure. And I've got various other things bubbling in the pot. And I will catch you then. Have a good one.